Hi guys, this is Always back with another tutorial of Autodesk Revit Essential Training Series. So in this tutorial, I'll be discussing creating roofs with footprints, working with ceilings, and adapting walls to roof using the shape editing tool to create a flat roof, and working with the slope arrows, adding openings. Alright, so let's start creating a roof first. So I'm at the level 1 right now, as you can see in the project browser. So I've got to go to my level 2 first. And now I can start creating a roof here. So select your roof command from build panel and select this roof by footprint. It's going to ask me to save a project. That's not a problem. All right. So now I've got this modify panel here and I've got a general tools on the left, right? So here I want to mention here that even you click on empty space or click on the modify or you press escape twice, it's not going to end the command. To end the command, either you have to finish that edit mode or cancel edit mode. So bear with that. Okay, so now we're going to create a roof. So here on the draw panel, I've got this line, rectangle, all that stuff. I can use those manual editing tools to create a roof. But there's another option here called pick wall. So if I select this pick wall option, as you can see, the boundary line has been highlighted as well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this wall. As you can see that when I hover over my cursor to this wall, there's a dotted line appears. That dotted line is basically overhanging by two feet. So if you change that, that dotted line will go far or come closer to your wall. There's another option I want to discuss here is defining slope. So if you uncheck that, there's not going to be slope on your roof. So, But I want to make a uh, roof with the slope, so I want to keep that on. And now I can do select that wall. If you move your cursor a little bit down, it's going to create a slope inside the wall. So it this side of the wall. So just make sure that you keep that dotted line outside. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click here and I'm going to click here. And now I'm going to create a line. So I'm going to select this line and I'm going to draw a line from this point to about leave it here all right and now what you can do is you can use your trim and extend tool to join them all right so we got that roof now so if you select this line now as you can see that the value here is 7 inch by 12 so I want to change that to 4 feet by 12 so this is basically a sloping angle for your roof so I want to change this value for all of them And change the value for this as well done and now I'm gonna finish this command by clicking here I'm gonna click yes and that's it so now we have our roof done so to show you guys I'm gonna go to my 3d view and now as you can see that we got our roof done with the slope as well so go back to our level 1 and now I'm gonna go to my level roof so I can create a roof on the top as well now I will create a roof here as well but just give me a second I'll finish this off first so select your roof command by footprint again and now you can select those uh, pick wall commands so I'm gonna pick this wall now pick this wall pick this wall all right so now I can select any wall and change the values to 4 by 12 so you gotta make sure that you can change them while you're making those command. Click on this modify tab to select the objects. So select, make them four by twelve. All right, so we got this now. I'm gonna select this modify command again and change the value. Empty, click, and then change the value. All right, so now I think so. We got every value changed. All right, so now. I'm gonna finish this as well so we got our roof done right so you can always edit your roof by selecting the roof and it's gonna ask you to edit footprint so click on this command which will pop out the modify panel I'm going to make another kind of roof here now so go to my roof level and now I'm gonna get rid of this roof alright so now we can make another roof so I'm gonna select my roof command again roof by footprint and I'm going to pick the wall I'm gonna pick this wall and I'm going to pick this wall so this time 
all right let's get rid of this first and I'm gonna select pick wall and now what I'm gonna do uncheck this a define slot so I'm gonna uncheck this I'm gonna pick this wall now and before I pick this wall I'm gonna check this again and I'm going to uncheck that again and let's check that again all right so now I'm gonna click on this modify command select and give value of 4 by 12 and this value should be 4 by 12 okay so now we have as you can see that when you select this line there's no sloping applied to this line so I'm going to click finish um, the command and now let's go have a look what we have here so now as you can see that we got this kind of group here now okay so I'll show you how you can attach those walls so it's all about when you apply sloping to any wall you can make different kind of roofs by applying roof um, sloping or not applying sloping it's all up to you so what I can do now I'm gonna select this wall right I'm gonna hover over my cursor to this wall right and I'm gonna press tab as you can see that it actually selected that chain I'm gonna click here now and now once you click you get this option attach top and base so I'm gonna click on this and here I've got this option right here base I can attach this to base I can tap this to top so I'm gonna keep that top and then I'm gonna select this roof so once I select this roof and go to my modify panel now as you can see that those walls are attached to the roof now cool right it's very automatic so now if I select my roof and go to my properties and I will change the value of the sloping option let's say I will give this to 8 and enter and apply so now as you can see that the sloping changed but the roof the wall are still attached to the roof which is really cool so I'm gonna use this view cube and click on this right and to get this view in front of me alright guys now we're gonna look at the roof by extrusion so there's a command in the build panel called roof by extrusion I'm using this view cube to change my view so you click on this right so you get this view right there alright so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this roof by extrusion and it's gonna ask me this work plane so we're gonna click OK and now I'm gonna select a plane so if you hover your cursor somewhere you can see that that highlights that so I'm gonna click here let's say I'll click and tab tab and this is the face I want to work with right so tab tab once you highlight this face click and now it's telling me that what is it so it's a roof level right I'm gonna click OK now it's gonna give me that sketch mode now I can start my um, roof by extrusion so let's say I want to make a bit of arcy alright so I'm gonna select this tangent arc I'm gonna click here and I click here select the arc and let's say I will do a little bit here right and I'm gonna click here right and now the command is still on I can make that to work with line now and I'm just gonna drop it here and I'm gonna select the arc again and I'm just gonna do a little bit like this alright it's just a rest thing that it's to show you guys okay so now I've done my sketch so I'm gonna click on this finish command option and now as you can see if I move my thing then it's been done so roof by extrusion has been applied so I can go back and edit profile by clicking here uh, I can work with the plane by clicking here so let's have a look I'm gonna click here now we got this right I'm gonna select this now and as you can see it's going all the way down so what I can do is change your viewport to wireframe and you can just select this arrow button and just drag it all the way to the back and drag one more time Alright, so now I'm going to change my viewport to shade it again and now what you can see is that we have a gap here, right? So it's very simple, I can select this and then I'm going to go and select my align command so select that face first yep, and then select this face and now it's going to align that and now what you can do is select your object click on a modify and select your object and just move it back 
you can even apply a value here so you can give exact value how uh, long you want to have this so this is a roof by extrusion all right guys thanks for watching this tutorial and i'll talk to you guys in the next video